Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and ohio everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Wright here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Danmachi Memorial Freeze video. And welcome to the update contents for this week in Dan Mimo. We're going to be checking out what the data download brought along with it. And of course, checking out everything coming to the game this week. Now, of course, if you guys go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Danmachi and Danmachi Memorial Freeze content. And let me know in the comment section down below, are you guys planning on summoning on the Argonaut and Ariadne banner? Or are you guys waiting till next week, of course, for part two to release? Or waiting until at least we get some information about the part two units? To then decide whether or not you want to summon on this banner or the part 2 banners. Let me know in the comment section down below. Now before we get in of course to the update contents. One thing I would like to mention is that we will be live later tonight for the summons on this banner. Of course I will be summoning live um, on stream this YouTube channel. We will be live doing summons on the Argonaut banner. And of course if you guys can't catch the live stream. Don't worry, I will be recording a bit of the live stream basically where I do my summons and porting it over into a video basically later down the line, which is basically going to be like an hour or two after the live stream ends. So don't worry if you are asleep or it's like the middle of the night or you're at work in the morning, depending on where you live, of course. Don't worry, you will be able to catch the summons video later on. No worries, don't worry about that whatsoever. Now, let's get into the update count contents. Once again, big shout outs to Weird for obviously getting the update contents across to us in a neat and orderly manner. And the first thing we have in store for us is, of course, the JP publication login bonus. Of course, this is a 400 iris login bonus it's in total 400 iris so across two weeks we will get 400 iris basically in small batches of like 20 40 and stuff like that basically on top of that we will be getting 100 iris on the 14th of july because of course volume one of argonaut is releasing on that day so we are getting an extra 100 iris for that as well but this 400 iris will be crossed over and accumulated over the next two weeks of course so keep that in mind it's not going to be immediate it is going to take you two weeks to get the total 400 iris that they're giving out in this login bonus i'm still fine with it to be quite honest because it is still 400 iris and of course with argonaut volume one banners being live right now and then we'll have part two next week and then of course next month we'll have part three and on top of that volume two banners of course for argonaut remember that we will be getting an argonaut volume two banner as well at the end of next month because argonaut volume two releases on august 30th so there's a lot of banners to look forward to so any little bit of iris is amazing honestly it is super super nice to have any form of iris of course the next thing we have is a bundle a danbimo jp sixth anniversary bundle of course this is the hero edition and it features one prism bond adventure one assist prism bond a six year four star guaranteed 11 draw ticket and an 11 draw ticket times one as well this is effectively going to cost you 800 paste paid iris so i mean if you are a paying player I guess it's not bad because you're getting two prism bonds and a four star guaranteed 11 draw ticket with units only from uh, June 2022 onwards basically. So I think it's quite worth it if you are a spending player and if you haven't already gotten stuff MLB of course right. Then we also do have the Danmachi Heroic Tale Argonaut the Clown March bundle of course which features not only just a Argonaut four star guaranteed 11 draw ticket and a three star 11 draw ticket but also two six year four star guaranteed 11 draw ticket times two and ascension times uh, ascension fall nut times 10 and 100 large exilia books honestly this will probably cost about 1200 paid iris i'm assured about that because of how much is being given out in this bundle so bear in mind that this is going to cost you a little bit more than expected <laughs> just a little bit more than expected of course these are the banners of course we have the first and foremost the normal banner that we always get the 14710 step up banner of course time limited units um a lot of people were expecting it to be potentially a hero festa banner um i wasn't because of course if the australia record one wasn't you know they were all time limited units I wasn't expecting this to be Hero Festa. I do expect us to get a, an Argonaut and Prozo Hero Festa inevitably when they do rerun the second anniversary event and everything. We will probably get an Argonaut and Prozo Hero Festa down the line. But right now, of course, we aren't going to get it. We aren't going to get it whatsoever. So I'm not surprised that we are obviously just getting a normal time limited gotcha banner, of course, here. Um, the... Other banners, of course, are the paid banners. It's two times guaranteed, which is, I guess, really, really good, of course, right? Um, if you are stuck with plus three and plus three, 
You've got these paid banners to, you know, clutch uh, clutch you up if you don't want to use gnome tickets or anything. Of course, I would probably say using gnome tickets is probably a little bit better. But frankly speaking, I would say that, uh, you know, if you do decide to summon on this banner and you get them to like plus three or plus four, I would still probably wait to use your gnome tickets because, of course, we don't know how the banner format is going to be next week and how the units are going to appear to us, right? And how much we'll need for those units and if they're going to be any good as well we don't know how part two units are going to be like so we're going to have to wait and see on if they're any good and then decide whether or not you should be spending your gnome tickets on them or on argonaut and ariadne of course right so keep that in mind keep that in mind before you just decide to dump all your gnome tickets and stuff into these two characters um the four star guaranteed 11 draw ticket gacha of course and then the 11 draw ticket gacha these are the ticket got uh, tickets that you get from this bundle of course right so i wouldn't necessarily say it's going to be anything crazy to be quite honest there's not going to be like a free 11 draw ticket or anything of that sort so don't expect anything from this as, as well i would say do not expect anything um of course ship of heroes argonaut really really cool i love the fact that we have the sword here and everything very nice art for argonaut i really really like it and then we have thread of eternity ariadne as well i am surprised that they decided to go for ariadne but at the same time i'm realistically not and it kind of allows us to guess what we're gonna get in next month's uh I, actually i would say that it's easy to guess what we're gonna get in next month's uh gotcha banner for argonaut volume 2 because if you look at argonaut special edition don machi um and we go over here right i mean i guess you can already tell what we're gonna get i suppose because we've got argonaut and ariadne the only ones remaining on the on the special edition cover is Fina and Orna. So unfortunately, even after five years or four years now, actually, no, 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 four, yeah, four years now, we still don't have a second iteration of Crozo, bro. What has Crozo done to the Don Mimo devs, bro? That my man's not gotten a single unit in four years, and he's probably still not gonna get another unit honestly he's still not gonna get another unit at least for the foreseeable future until maybe a hero festa iteration for him but it's crazy that we're not getting a second crozo i i genuinely thought that yeah they would have done crozo because you know we have had what we have had this is the fourth argonaut we've gotten right we had well we had the free to play one the summonable one the pre-anniversary one and the assist one so technically not even fourth this is the fifth iteration of argonaut in a uh, in an adventure or an, or an assist format this is the fourth ariane we've gotten by the way as well the fourth ariane um and then of course fina has had two so far two units so far um orna has had two as well yeah two orna's had two as well Ryulu two galmas two elmina two yuri two Crozo is the only one who has only one version in the game at this point in time. And it's insane to me. It is actually crazy that we have still not gotten a, a unit for Crozo that is brand new and spanking new. Um, kind of crazy to me. Kind of crazy to me. Um, I, I really hope that I'm wrong and it's not just going to be, uh, you know, um, Orna and uh, Fina, to be quite honest. I'm really, really hoping it's not. But who knows <laughs> who knows uh who knows um of course these are the sprite sheets of course for the upcoming units of course they probably updated the argonaut sprite a little bit just so that we can get this new uh this new version of him i suppose right into the game basically so updated sprites of course for him which is kind of nice of course obviously accommodating for his new special arts and stuff of course right as well um i don't think we saw his special arts in yesterday's live stream unless i missed it i probably must have missed it because i was kind of looking uh, uh, elsewhere and i was talking to my uh youtube chat yesterday during the live stream so i probably just must have missed it entirely i definitely need to check it out once we get him um i hope i summon for when i summon for him i get him so that i can actually see his special arts hopefully fingers crossed um but yes that's all that there is in the data download of course if you guys want to know what exactly is coming out otherwise this week we are going to be getting a record buster against revis this week so we're going to be doing that of course right so of course when it comes to the showcase for argonaut we are going to have to do yet again a trial edition of a showcase once again and see how he'll perform against the existing ladder that is currently on uh, the war game stage right now and then of course we're gonna have to test him once again next week when we have the opportunity to, to you know put him through his paces in a proper war game scenario honestly he looks really really good so i'm not doubting his abilities in fact i think there is a very good chance for an argument for him to be an s 
in fact, let me check. I'm very curious. Have they updated it already? I don't think they would have because it's still too early. I know that they usually update it on the day the banners go live. Um, so I'm thinking we're still waiting for an update. Yeah, it looks like they haven't still updated it yet. They still haven't updated this yet, of course, for the um, uh, the JP uh, character evaluation. Uh, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have evaluated it without summoning. I hope at least. Um, but we'll see. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh no, no, no. They haven't updated it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still blank. I was about to say, nah, surely not. They haven't surely judged them this early. Um, but we'll see. I think for Ariane, she'll be SS in PvP. I think PvP, she'll be like A. Um... Argonaut, I want to say PvP, she'll be, uh, he'll be double S or triple S. And uh, PvP, he'll probably be like A or S, I would say. I think that's how they'll judge him as. But we'll see. Obviously, tomorrow uh, or this Sunday, I'm going to keep myself not spoiled, um, you know, for the... Uh, rankings on the jp side last week or about two weeks ago when we got the haruhime and lily i kind of spoiled myself pretty early on but what i'm gonna do is when we do the tier listing for these two units on sunday i will be looking at the tier list only then the jp tier list only then so we'll see how they how the jp players rank them of course if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more danmachi content and of course you'll get notified as to when we go live later tonight if you hit that notification button as well and of course leave a comment down below are you guys planning on summoning on this banner or not let me know i'm very curious to see what you guys have to say down below Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy everybody. Bye bye.